Whitney, I've got too many dinosaur toys. James puts up with Whitney. It's like no! Get an action shot, Whitney. <gasps> Take two. Action shot. How did that look? <laughs> so, hello, everybody, and welcome to an episode, an unboxing episode. Actually, this one was completely unexpected. Um, I just randomly received, as, as you do, as one does, received a parcel. I was like, who could this be from? And then I saw the address and it was Mattel. I was like, oh, okay. They didn't tell me. No communication, Mattel. Do you not want to like say, oh, by the way, we're sending you, surprise me. Well, I guess I don't mind surprises. It just keeps sending me stuff. <laughs> um, so this little box appeared. So let me read the description for you. At the back it says, what happens to Ray Arnold in his final scene? Question mark. After shutting down Jurassic Park's power system, he lends a hand to help turn on the circuit breakers, but he isn't seen again, at least not entirely. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So on the front, as you can, as Whitney's probably been showing, there you go. The power shed or the power station or something like that. And then on the back, you have, I mean, the illustration is gorgeous. It looks exactly like I remember it uh, from the movie, the uh, the power shed. You've got like the fence running all the way around, the danger signs. <gasps> oh, what could be inside? Well, let's have a look, open it up. I did not just open this before and be like, oh, that's what it is. Cause I was so curious. No, I would never do that. So out of the box and look, oh, even closer now. You got the, the two stages there. You've got like from far away and close up. And are you ready to see what this is about to reveal inside? <gasps> Yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. <laughs> yeah. It's Samuel Jackson. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't even know it was Samuel Jackson. It wasn't until later. I was like, wait, he was in that movie? So yeah, you got like a really cool scene with the circuit breakers. Maybe this is how people buy it. I know it's pre-ordered. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's part of the Amber Collection. It's just part of Jurassic World Legacy, I would assume. You've got a little button that if you press, brings up more quotes. No, that's crazy. You're out of your mind. He's absolutely yeah. out of his mind. <laughs> Amazing. Obviously, this is something that I think Mattel have put together as part of like, we'll send this out to influencers and yada, 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 and press and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I'm appreciative. I love it. It looks amazing. The level of detail they've done with it, like doing the entire interior. If I just get down on the floor here, if you look at the top, I don't know if you can really see that. You can pretty zoom in on that camera um you've got the lights that switch on with any sounds like ding, 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 ding. she's like oh, i think we're back in business and then my mom gets jump scared every time doesn't matter how many times she's seen jurassic park she always gets jump scared of that bloody raptor that comes out behind her she's like, oh! <laughs> that and the one from lost world where they're like i'm right back <laughs> I wouldn't say it's kind of accurate to Jurassic Park because the one in Jurassic Park is just kind of brown. But uh, it's a different variant, I think, than what we've seen. So at least it's something different. It's not like a raptor that we've had from a different one repackaged and purposed like they've done a lot of times in the past. Um, and the Ray Arnold, well, I mean, I'll get this all out at the, at, in a second, but it just looks so cool. I love I love this little diorama. And we'll do one more. Right, rabbit object. Whatever it did, it did it all. But with the key checks off, the computer didn't find the keystroke, so the only way to find it now is to go through the computer's lines of code one by one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, some of the lines I'm like, you chose that one? <laughs> Hey -ho. Anyway, let's cut this bad boy open and see exactly what's inside. Hey, there it is. <laughs> does, oh, so it all slides out, does it? Oh, it is an interior thing. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Underneath. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so cool. I would have loved that as a kid. Like... I don't know, especially with Jurassic, the, the, well, Jurassic World, Mattel have definitely not done any playsets or anything like that. And I couldn't really call this a playset because it's probably not available for the majority of people who would want it, or even if it's available at all. I'm assuming this is all one big thing, so I could I could probably take it out if I wanted to. Yeah, that's all one unit. Samuel Jackson, voice box. Theoretically, yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. That's so cool. Let's get out uh, the man himself as well as the raptor. Ow! 
<laughs> I didn't hurt myself. Come here, you. Look at him. You got a little Ray Arnold. And he actually stands really well. You know what it is? I don't think I've ever taken one of the human characters or uh, like unboxed a human character. And I've, I've had like Alan Grant and stuff. And I was just like, I like them in the box. But that is so cool. Like the points of articulation. Kind of like this is the first time I've had it in my hands and it kind of it feels a little bit flimsy. I'm assuming I can pull off his arm. Can I pull off his arm? I mean, it's got red, right? Like there's red there. So yeah, there you go. He's lost his arm. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. And obviously you could put that over any Sattler if you wanted to. Still has its elbow articulation in it. So you can move the hand like up and down. That's so weird. You got the head articulation, elbow, shoulder, no wrist. I lose points for that, Mattel. But you've got knee, pelvis. Oh, wow. That is, that is, that is crazy. And I'm assuming, yeah, you've got a little hole. So you can plop him on his little stand. So if you didn't want to keep the box or you didn't have space, you could just have... Little Arnold by himself there. He ate his arm. He's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. I mean, they've put the red on him. So it's like, oh, he's got his arm. He's, he's lost his arm and stuff. But you could probably just rip his head on and any other limbs off if you wanted to. It just won't look red. Um, but you probably won't be able to put them them back on as easy. Uh, that's interesting. This is, I think this is the first in a long time that I can remember that they've put blood on something like i can't i can't think of any other dinosaur toy or anything else that they've put blood on like yeah you had the anatomy t-rex but there was no blood there it was just like organs and, and bone and i think you can get this set i don't know if it comes with <laughs> uh, if it doesn't I'm missing out on a trick there but um maybe it would make it even cost even more because you got leds and sounds and everything but the raptor i'm not really keen on the way the raptor looks if i'm gonna be honest I've, I've never been a fan of this like yeah i've never really been a fan of how low it is to the ground and this crouching position especially if it's just like that's all you can do i, I mean i think when it came it comes with toys like if you want to pose like that you can kind of do it yourself i mean especially if it's kids this is like put the leg backwards and it's on its belly almost and you can say it's crawling it's not it doesn't look like the raptors from jurassic park because they're just all brown so it's got this weird tiger strike tiger brown tiger stripe on it with a sandy beige underbelly but the eye the eye is actually like a metallic green for whatever reason they're like oh yeah we're just gonna put a metallic green on its eye which is so strange yeah i, I mean I'm, I'm trying to see what other poses you can do with this because of this leg that's so freaking long like if you put it in front it looks so weird. I think th there's two poses. You can do like a, a sneaky one where, with the arms down. I think that's like the best one. Like a, a, a pounce towards, which is just arms up and then there you go. That's, pro that's probably going to be the best you're going to get. Really good detail there. Lovely paint application. There's like airbrushing for the hair. There's like a darker brown there. Of course, you've got those metallic green eyes. But like I said, I'm just not a fan of the... Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. This, you can't fault it. Theoretically, yes. <laughs> yeah. White rabbit object. Whatever it did, it did it all. Open the key checks off. The computer didn't find the keystroke. I don't like this one. <laughs> That's cool. I re that that is epic. Anatomy with the game. There you go. Oh, it's quite sturdy, actually. It sort of stays in there pretty well. Have a look at this man's drip. You got the tie. He sat down. He's, he's ready to relax. He's got the dancing raptor by his side, ready to lose Hello. an arm. Yeah, you can get dinosaurs. You can get human characters. But but this thing, the, 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 the you could use this so many other, like, times. Like, a kid could just put this in, in between cushions, and this could be the inside. You know, like... Just put some scary music. How cool does that look? All dark in there, right? <laughs> is that cool? Does that look good yet? Look how cool that is. You can't see it, but it was like shimmering the top. So in all, I gotta give it 10 beaver babies out of 10 beaver babies, really. I mean, we don't get play sets. Why do we not get play sets, Mattel? Jesus. So if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> and leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. Oh, bye Lower. James, lower. You can't see me! Bye. <laughs>